hello hope everybody's doing fine i'm feeling a little bit better today i uh wanted to make this video before i actually made a few changes here in the shop <coughs> excuse me i gotta be careful not to kick up any dust speaking of dust i uh wanted to do this video on um, what happened in my shop. Uh, this is important that everybody knows this so I can uh, help prevent somebody else from getting sick. Uh, this is very important so I just want to take a few minutes and collaborate on it. And also when I'm done with this video Casterman is a dear friend of mine. He uh, offered to help, so I'm going to let him do a video on, well, a follow-up video on this one on uh, woodworking safety, uh, how imperative it is to protect yourself. So... To give an explanation of what happened, what made me so sick. Over the last, I don't know, few days, I've been doing a lot of woodworking. In knife making, you do a lot of different things. You woodwork, metalwork, uh, fabrication. It all involves sanding, cutting, grinding, shaping, uh, dust. I make a ton of dust, okay? And to give you an example, I'm going to take you off that stand, and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. So if you'll bear with me, you will see exactly what I have created, which is not a good thing. So if you look around in this shop, everything in here has a fine coating of some of the most dangerous sawdust that you can breathe in. The floor is covered in it. It was yellow, this floor. Not anymore. And everything is coated in this. And when I mean everything, I mean everything. It's all covered in dust. Even the walls, everything, my toolbox, all of my things that I'm trying to organize and put up, it's all covered in dust. My saws, just to give you a quick rundown. Everything is covered in this dust, wood dust. Every bit of it, all of it, the whole room is like that. Everything, look at it, okay? This is unexcusable unexcusable and I mean everything so with that said this is what happened to my lungs this is not supposed to be that color it's supposed to be that color okay so let me put you back in this stand And I will let you rest right there. So what I did, and I've been doing this a long time, I ought to know better. It's been raining a lot around here, and I've had to do a lot of work inside. I rushed to get done 
and get done quick. I figured I'd take a few shortcuts. Uh, I've done some planing in here, table saw, radial arm saw work, a lot of sanding on my sanders, uh, hand sanding. And this is the result of it. Where I messed up is, is contamination. And masks like this, with this pack being open, laying out, all these are contaminated now. They're useless. And to be honest with you, they're useless anyway for this type of work. These do not work to keep out wood dust. They just don't. I recommend not to even bother with them. That's my recommendation. Another thing is, I do own a respirator. It's O safety. It's got canister filters like this that just screw in and lock in the side. Okay, works great for minor jobs, things of that nature. However, this mask is 10 years old. Well, how old do you think the filters are? Yeah, they're 10 years old too. So, with that being said, the mask Quit working a long time ago. And another thing is, these masks come with these little diaphragms inside of them. Those little diaphragms are way past wore out. They don't seal anymore. They're like a valve. Without those, you just have an empty hole there. This is not sufficient for what I need. And on top of it all, I was not clean shaven. So the mask never seated to my face. And I know these things. But in my haste, I disregarded all that. And I got a bunch of this in my lungs. Now, I'm going to let Caster Man go into more detail on what happened to my lungs. But evidently this type of wood dust, this red exotic wood that I was working with, is very toxic, more toxic than a lot of woods. Um, and it really put a hurting on me. So... I made several mistakes and it cost me. It'll take me quite some time to get my lungs completely back. And I hope they do come back like they should. But it, uh, it took a lot out of me. So I won't be using that no more. What I am gonna do is, I think I've got a new one, brand new mask that's more suited for this kind of work. For one, I have no dust collection system. I have one door in here and no windows. There's no ventilation. So that is something I'm gonna to have to rectify. Not sure how I'm gonna go about doing that yet, but before I do any more sanding and grinding and everything, I'll definitely have to either do it outside with a mask or just stop until I can rectify the problem. But I want everybody to know, please don't do what I did. I created the perfect storm. Nowhere for nothing to go but in here. 
and all over everything in here. So I'll have to start by cleaning this completely up. <clears throat> and even then I have to wear a respirator. It's gonna be a little bit of time consuming, but that's okay. The damage is done. So please take this video, learn from it, and don't make the same mistake I did. Especially the older you are, the, the harder it is on you. <coughs> and uh, I just want everybody to take it and learn from it. And Caster Man, like I said, he's going to come out with a more in-depth safety video for y'all to absorb and learn from. Caster Man is a great guy. He's got a lot of experience in this. He spends a lot of time in the wood, shaping and grinding and sanding like, you know, what wood carpenters do. He's a great cabinet man. I regard him as a pro. So if he says it, you can pretty much take it to take it to the bank. So anyhow, I'm not going to hold you up any longer. Just wanted to tell you what happened. Uh, I had to take a really strong antibiotic. To, to combat this. So. Before I do anything else, she'll get cleaned up. I'll give y'all an update when I'm done. It won't look the same. So, the knife community knife project is still moving forward. Just had a little speed bump along the way. As you notice, I have to stop and take a deep breath. Anyway, I love y'all. God bless you. Be safe, be kind, be safe, seriously be safe. Watch Top Knot.